Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Sully Pones, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. In the previous episode, we obtained five pieces of heart by doing the Deku Scrub business mission, so today, we are gonna obtain two more pieces of heart, two more masks, and a bottle, but before we begin, do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. Let's try to get this video to over 1,000 likes. I think that would be incredibly awesome from you guys. So first and foremost, what we wanna do is we wanna actually withdraw up to 500 rupees because that's the maximum capacity we can actually hold so I'm gonna withdraw some money this is the first time that I'm doing something like this uh, I actually don't know how to do math right now so it's gonna be 200 300 400 uh, 400 so I'm gonna do 300 and then we're gonna do 33 so that will equal 500 rupees now uh, I actually wanted to talk to you guys quickly about the giveaway that I actually did on my channel regarding the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Unfortunately, the video, the announcement would, uh, video for that will actually go up later this week because the website that I used to host the giveaway, which is Gleam.com, um, unfortunately, that website did not tell me prior to me signing up for the website that they were going to charge me money in order to see the list of people who participated in the contest or who entered up for the contest, which is very, very shady of them to do because had I known prior, I would have never used that website to uh, t t toast my giveaway on essentially and um, I know you guys have been waiting for it and I've been wanting to do it seriously I've really been wanting to do it and I wanted it to go up on Saturday but unfortunately like I said I can't actually view the names of people who entered the contest so there's really no way of me seeing anything uh, like any of the, the users who entered the contest so if I do like put you guys all in a uh, a randomized list and then I pick three people for the giveaway the only thing that you guys will get are stars like names that are starred out three different start out names so I actually got in contact with uh, the people who run the website and I'm just waiting for them to get back to me and hopefully if they could give me like a free pass and let me look at the names without having to pay for it then I'll go ahead and make the video right away if not then I'm just gonna base it off of the people who left comments on episode one even though I know that not everybody who left a comment on episode one essentially wanted to participate in the giveaway or necessarily wanted a free copy of the game but that's just how we're gonna have to do because the biggest qualification for it was to leave a comment on the first part of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask so uh, patiently wait for it like I promise you guys within a couple of days we'll have the video up and three lucky people will win a free copy of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask uh, I am sorry again for the delay it's really out of my hand at this point I don't want to spend money just so I can you know pick the winners it's not like I, I don't want to pay 34 bucks just so I could pick the winners when it's something that I wasn't told about prior to signing up for the giveaway so um, I hope you guys understand and I hope it's not really like a huge issue to some of you guys because in a couple of days three people will win a free copy of this game and it will be physical copies I won't I won't do that to you guys I won't send out demo or downloadable codes for this that's physical copies is always better to have in every scenario Physical copy of any game is always the best thing to have. So, um, you guys are probably confused. Why did we do this again? Well, we did it again because we needed to do this in order to, um, hold on. I was so confused when I was doing that. We needed to do this in order to get a mask known as the All Night Mask. And the reason why I withdrew 500 rupees wasn't because the All Night Mask costs 500 rupees. So, you needed to let, uh, this man try to steal the bomber lady's stuff and you needed to protect her again. But this time around, she didn't give us anything. Uh, we didn't get a mask, but we will eventually get a mask. Not a free one, though. It's probably the most expensive mask we're gonna purchase in this game. I feel like it's the only mask we'll end up purchasing in this game. But that's just how it is. We're gonna have to fast forward time three times, uh, to the, to, to night of the final day, essentially. I think at 10 p.m. that's when the curiosity shop opens. Just because they're a shady business, they literally run off of stolen goods. They'll steal your goods and then they'll sell it at that shop. That's how crazy it is. And they mark up the prices extremely high. That, that that's like some black market stuff right there. Alright, fast forward time once more. And uh, then we'll make our way to, the, to the curiosity shop. We're gonna go to actually 10 p.m. this time around. Or I don't know if it's 8 or 10, but I'm gonna just go 10 p.m. just to be on the safe side. And good thing I have time slowed down. 
But uh, like I said, we're gonna get two masks today. Uh, both of them, which we'll actually be using in this episode in order to obtain uh, two pieces of heart and an extra bottle, which is the sixth bottle in this game. This game, they, they, they give you seven bottles for items, which is absolutely insane to me. It's like, why do you need that many freaking bottles? Notice how it's like really light outside too. It's just because the moon's falling and the carnival's about to happen. So here in Clocktown, like the atmosphere uh, feels different. Which is really good. You don't necessarily get this atmosphere in any of the first two days. But the second day is usually most of the time rainy. Uh, I don't know why. It's just, it just is in the game. But we're going to talk to this guy. Aw, oh, he doesn't serve. I don't know why you don't serve people wearing bunny hoods, man. What if I'm a cosplayer? What if I'm trying to cosplay as Bugs Bunny? Like, for real. I don't know. We're going to buy the all-night mask. This very creepy thing. It makes people not drift into sleep, or maybe it's because you wear it, it covers your eyes, and the eyes that are on the mask make it look like you're awake. I have no idea how it works, but we bought this mask, and it's the thing that we needed. No, I don't want you to buy any of my stuff, because you're going to rip me off. I don't want to buy any of your stuff anymore, because I'm also going to get ripped off. It's not worth it, man. Uh, so now that we did this, the next thing uh, for us to do... Uh, let me see... I think we're going to want to make our way to East Clock Town now. And then I'm going to rewind. To oh, man, but rewinding time takes me back to... Okay. Yeah. Rewinding time takes me back to the owl here in Clock Town. So it's not even, like, worth rewinding time in any particular spot in the game. Just because you're going to end up spawning in the same spot the game wants you to spawn in. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but... For some reason, I thought you could skip through this. But I, I realized when playing this game, you can't actually skip this part. I know in the original game, you watch it once and then you skip over it, but maybe they're like, Hey, this is one of the best qualities about Majora's Mask, watching you lose all of your items, so we're gonna force you guys to watch this. I don't know. This is just me nitpicking at things. It's only like five seconds. South Clock Town. Alright. So, first of all, before I screw anything up, I'm gonna slow down time, and then we're gonna have to fast forward time again. Like, that's just how this game is. You Freaking rewind time, you slow down time, you fast forward time again and again and again, then rewind time again. It's just all about time. You're bending time. That can't be good. That's that's definitely not a good thing. If we're constantly bending time, that just screws up with Mother Nature and just the, the order of things in, in just the world. Alright, so now... As you guessed it, we're fast-forwarding time. Why? Because the clock or the, the stockpot ends close until 8 a.m. Uh, that's when they open and then they close, I think, at 8 p.m. You want to make sure you do this at 8 a.m. I think anywhere after the daytime or noon. Just try to do it in the morning. This is the best time to do this. Do it in the morning. Uh, and as you can see, there's this guy where we're actually going to be interacting with a lot. That's how we're going to get the second mask and the bottle from that dude. But you're going to want to enter into the first room right here. And as you can see, there's an old lady, a very old lady in a wheelchair. A wheelchair that looks like there's a toothpick in between two shields that she's sitting on. But yeah, you know grandmothers, they love telling stories, and she's, she happens to be one of those grandmothers. So we're just going to put this uh, over here, and then we're going to put it on, and we're going to talk to her. Oh, Tortoise, did you help finish helping your father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? So there are two stories that you want to actually hear from this woman. Uh, there is the Carnival of Time and then the Four Giants. The Carnival of Time is only two hours long, and then the Four Giants is a till morning story, so you need the all-night mask in order to listen to the story without falling asleep. Uh, because in the end, she's going to quiz us both uh, on, on both of the stories, and we're going to have to answer them correctly in order to obtain pieces of heart. So the Carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to learn the meaning of it. It's, it's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm just going to skip over this because I've gotten so many comments from people like telling me, why do you read the dialogue? They don't want us to read the dialogue just because they feel like it wastes too much time. You know, granted, I would personally love to read this for a lot of you guys, but it's not even that interesting of a story. It pretty much just talks about like this one in general really isn't interesting. It just pretty much talks about how kids walk around wearing uh, masks of giants because um, that's, I guess, what they celebrate the carnival festival for i have no idea honestly goes to show how much i know that story uh but you're gonna want to answer the first question when she asks you and she'll give you a piece of candy aka a piece of heart which is pretty cool the history of the carnival 
and we obtained one piece of heart so with another piece of heart we'll actually be able to obtain uh, or to to fill in another full heart container which is pretty cool Andrew's grandmother for those of you who didn't know that's also Andrew's grandmother the Andrew and cafe quest that we're gonna do at the end of the game the longest side quest in this game that you I think obtain I think you obtain a piece of heart or a bottle I think you obtain both depending on how you do it but we're gonna go ahead and read or listen to the four giants and I will read this one because this is a very interesting story this is quite long but it is a good story for you to hear so I'll read it with uh, some extra gusto is that a Spanish word the four giants this tale from long ago when all people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now meaning Deku's Goron Zoras and then humans I believe in those times, all the people lived together, and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrated the harvest, the giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while, they, while we sleep. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, 100 steps west. Those are where all the temples are, I guess. I have no idea. Should you ever have needed us? Should the mountain blizzard trap you? Or the ocean swallow you up? Call us out, loud and clear. We shall hear you cry. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all of this, a little imp. The imp was afraid of the giants since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all the people there. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. Oh imp, oh imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain. Oh imp, leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced and they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods. And they lived happily ever after. So a story that essentially was supposed to take us all night, in fact, did take us like two minutes to do. So she's going to ask us, what did the people do uh, to call the giants? They sung a song, but you want to say, I don't know. Oh, really? But you had listened hard, so mother is happy. That's what you want to say, okay? Because um, you want to like make it seem like you actually did fall asleep. So you don't want to answer this question, right? I remember as a kid, I always used to do this. And I'm like, what's the point of this if I don't get anything in return out of it? And I was like, okay, let me answer it like this then. And I did. And I ended up getting the piece apart from it. So it's pretty cool. And now that we did that, it's actually 8 o'clock um, p.m. on a Tuesday. No, it's a.m. actually right now, which is all right. But we're going to exit the stock pot in right now. And we're gonna make our way over here. But what we want to do is we want to fast forward time once again to actually 10 p.m. I believe. I think that's when they open. Is it 10 p.m.? I believe it's 10 p.m. is when they open. So we're gonna fast forward time to 10 p.m. on the second day. Oh Jesus! Wait. Can I actually enter here without fast forwarding time? Yeah. Oh, it opens at 10 p.m. So I actually do need fast forward time to 10 p.m. I'm trying to think because that means I would end up having to do the next quest on the final day, but I'm not sure if it's even possible to do it on the final day. Hmm. Okay. I'm not really sure, but we'll figure it out. So we're just going to fast forward time to 10 p.m. right now. And uh, this place should, in fact, open. And in order to enter this place, we need to use the mask that we obtained. I think a few episodes ago from Romani's sister, Creamia. This mask, it pretty much allows you to enter into this room. You have to be a member to drink milk because, you know, it's the milk bar. Only big boys are allowed in here. So you're going to talk to this dweeb right here. What's up, man? Hey, buddy. Oh, you don't want to acknowledge me because I'm wearing this? What about now? Buddy! Man! Why does he talk to me? There we go, we are scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check though, I just want to see what it would have been like. Hey you, could you help me with a performance? You want to say yes to this, and he's gonna pretty much tell you to play your ocarina in the center spotlight. You have to do this four times, wearing a different mask every time, and then you play the song that he wants you to play, and uh... I guess all four of us will pretty much just make it all 
beautiful and will harmonize it pretty well. The idea is to try to impress that idiot that's sitting down at the bar all depressed. He's just a really proud Gorman brother. There are three Gorman brothers. He's the middle one. Um, I guess two of them are rednecks who work on a farm and then he's the guy who's, I guess, elegant and he enjoys plays and music, but he's also very depressed. Usually that's most common with extremely successful people because, you know, they have pretty much everything they can have and desire on, on the planet. They have money, they have, like, nice houses, cars, like, clothes, jewelry, uh, women, you know, for women, men, depending on if they enjoy company of men. And then it's just like, what else can I do in life? So, they end up getting bored and, and playing with drugs. I don't know, I, you know, I'm basing this off of just, like, stories I've been told. Like, I know people in my family who have lots and lots of wealth, but it's like... To them, it's nothing. It's like, well, bro, if you're not going to spend all that money, just send it over to me. <laughs> no, that's I want to do that. But uh, we're going to be the deco right now, and he wants us to stand, I think, right here. And we're going to play our pipes. And as you can see, Link will magically spawn in the middle. I, I believe so. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how we split ourselves into four beings but that's just how it works i guess he's either recording it or this place he could split into four different people at once i have no idea but this guy we're pretty much trying to impress him and he's just like he's angry at the fact that you know we're doing this he's like why are they doing this what's going on you don't have to do it in this necessary order but i think it's just cool to do it like this just because this is the order we obtain the masks and you know we do it as link and then deku goron and then uh zora so it's pretty cool and then we play the Goron's drums. We're pretty much forming our own band. Alright, one more time. But this time it's going to be with uh, the Zora. Alright, here we go. Talk to him, and he's gonna ask us, Can you play guitar? Yes, I can. And we're gonna have, you guessed it, we're gonna stand at the far right. Final spotlight. Oh, play your guitar like this. So, A Y R L A X Y R. Don't worry, individually they all sound bad, but then when you harmonize them all, it sounds pretty cool. Bravo, that was the best! Th that melody. That melody brings back so many memories. It's their old standby, Blade of the Windfish. That's the song that the members of the previous generation of the Indiegogos made famous. I entered show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singer of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current leader who is also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please, take my mask. And we obtained the troop leader mask, which, um... Yeah, you'll, you guys will see what we're gonna do with this. I, I really don't know what it does. The song played at the sound... Okay, I really don't know what this mask is supposed to do, but... Now that we got this mask, uh, we have one last thing to obtain, uh, and that is a bottle, because we obtained two pieces of heart, two masks, and now the bottle is the last thing that we need to get. But in order to get that bottle, I'm gonna try to fast forward time to the final day. Again, I'm not really sure if it's going to work on the final day. But we'll find out together, so we're gonna fast forward to dawn of the final day, and then we have to fast forward to 8 a.m. And then, this is what's really gonna upset me, the fact that I'm gonna probably have to reset time back to dawn of the first day. Uh, it's not gonna be fun. Actually, it's gonna be, have to be dawn of the, or the second day, pretty much. Because the first day, he didn't get drunk. The idea is he gets really drunk at the bar the night that we were just on, and then he comes to Stockpot in to relax. I guess, to rest up and whatnot. And then you're supposed to talk to him and then help him sober up. But I'm not sure if this quest is available for you to do 
on the final day just because everything is usually so different most of the people that are here on the first and second day aren't even here uh, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same way on the third day just because uh, is she cleaning if she's cleaning yeah she's cleaning so they checked out unfortunately that's the case so guys I will meet you all back here on the second day at 8 in the morning unfortunately I have to do this Really stinks, but that's just how it works. So I guess I will see you guys on the second day. And we are back, guys, on the second day at 8 in the morning. As you can see, things are much different. Like, we have this dancer that's usually out with her twin sister dancing at night is now in the stockpot inn. Uh, and then, as you approach closer to the room that we were just in, you will hear a very, very familiar melody. That's right, my man Guru Guru is here. I guess when he's not chilling at the laundry pool, he's usually just sitting on that chair. And then you have the other sister just standing there. And meanwhile, after that crazy night, uh, apparently on the first day, this happens. He comes here drunk as heck, and he's sleeping, trying to get some rest. I don't know how you're doing it, man, with Guru Guru in the room like that. I would probably kill him. But you're going to want to talk to him. How about me? And, um... Essentially, you're just gonna want to wake him up and he'll tell you to come wake him up again He's gonna say he's hopeless just because he feels bad and he's just depressed blah 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 And he's gonna tell you if you go to his brothers and get him uh, The sweet nectar some special milk and you guys will see exactly why it's special They put that extra oomph on it, but you have to bring it to him before noon. So um, we have to Make our way back to milk road and I actually really enjoy doing this side quest just because it's kind of a rush rush side quest. It's pretty cool. Um, I think they give you like two minutes in order to deliver the milk and you can't transport or I guess fly from one point to another. Like example, Milk Road to Clock Town. You actually have to run to Clock Town, but getting to Milk Road, you can actually fly there. So we're going to just teleport our, our way to Milk Road right now and we'll talk to the Gorman brothers or at least one of them and they'll supply us with the special milk of Sweet Nectar. It's very disgusting the way they make it sweet. Like, now that I know, I would never buy milk from them ever again. You should get it straight out of Romani Ranch, man. That's like the best. This is making me want milk. I'm not gonna lie. I really feel like drinking milk right now. All right, let's talk to this guy. You, that mask, that belongs to our middle brother. Hey, big bro, take a look at this fella here. Wait, all the arses! Does this mean something happened to the middle bro? What? Special milk tell him feel better? Grim, you don't tell me that gluten drank too much milk again, didn't he? Say no more. If he says afternoon, then you gotta come back afternoon. So, he just said it. You gotta come back afternoon. And I never really understood this, but unfortunately, you can't fast forward time in front of other people. Like, if you tried to fast forward time in front of the Gorman brothers, it's not actually going to work. I don't know why. But you just can't do it. You have to do it in secrecy because nobody can see you bending or playing with the power of time. So we're just going to fast forward time to noon on uh, the uh, first, on the second day, actually. And then we're going to make our way back in here, put the mask on, and then talk to the Gorman brothers again. What's up, man? Ah, what's this? It's already past noon. Right, so now then, some special Gorman track milk. Look at this. Ah, uh, this herbs to wake him up. The dude is literally putting grass in his milk and he's shaking it. Grass and dirt. That's the special sweet nectar that goes in their milk that makes it blue. Oh man, I would not. Oh, I, I would not drink crap from these guys. I would not trust them with anything. All right, so we got the mystery milk from the Gorman Brothers, a.k.a. the grass milk. You have a minute and 59 seconds exactly to deliver this milk to the dude. And again, you can't transport to clock town otherwise the milk goes bad because apparently teleporting from point a to point b is a lot longer than walking um in a sense like for us it's a second but for link it's probably a lot of time so technically link's been tortured this entire time we torture him when we make him teleport from point a to point b so we're just gonna walk back here it's very easy to get back to clock town i mean when you really look at it the land of termina is really not that big I mean, you know, it is. It's pretty big in a sense, but, like, now that I memorize where everything's at after playing this game every day for the last almost, like, four, three, four weeks, I guess you could say, it just doesn't really seem that big to me, you know? Uh, so we're just gonna make our way over here. We're definitely have, like, we're gonna have at least a minute. Okay, maybe not a minute. Well, actually, we might have a minute. Exactly, or something like that, by the time we deliver this milk. Okay, watch out. Uh, yeah, we'll totally have a minute. 
Uh, it's Guru Guru. What if I give it to Guru Guru? He'll probably love me forever. All right, let's talk to him. Oh, a minute and nine seconds. All right, so we're gonna give him this milk. Here you go, man. Feel better. I feel bad for you. Oh, oh yes, in that bottle. That's from my big bro, isn't it? Ah, yes. Hey, thanks for that. I mean, you brought me back to life. Yes, I did. Now be a champ and toss this old bottle out for me, or don't. For all I care, you could keep it, store bugs and junk in it. Whatever suits you. So we obtain the sixth bottle in this game. Uh, and with that, we have exactly one last bottle that we need to obtain. And we will have all seven bottles in this game, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's a lot of bottles. I don't know what you would need seven bottles for. But in this game, they give you the option to have seven bottles. Like, look at that. Like, let, me shoot, let me show you. Look at that. We have six of them. Why do we need six bottles? I highly doubt I'll ever use those six bottles. There's probably a quest that I'm like completely forgetting we, we need all seven of the bottles. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure at the end of the game you get the seventh bottle um, from the Anju and Cafe quest. I'm almost positive that's how it is. But yeah, guys, that will conclude today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it was eventful. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.